Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Mad Smartphone Tycoon, a game where we get to design our very own smartphones. We have an office, we hire staff to research new phone things, we put on jeans and a turtleneck, we design the phones, we sell the phones, we make money from the phones, and that's the whole smartphone tycoon side of things dealt with. As for the mad part of the name of the game, because it is called Mad Smartphone Tycoon, I've got no idea, I don't know why it's mad. Are we designing mad smartphones? Are we ourselves a mad tycoon? I genuinely don't know. Your guess is as good as mine on this one. Now this is the demo of the game. It's on Steam right now as I record this and as always there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description where you can go and check the game out a bit more and have a go at the demo if you would like to. But anyway here we go. Time to go and design some smartphones and be mad about it or something. I don't know. Okay job number one. We need to pick a location. Whereabouts so we're going to set up our new business and sell some lovely shiny smartphones and because we're playing the demo we can only pick Africa or Asia. It does say down here add wishlist and unlock South America and I have wishlisted the game but South America is still very clearly locked away because there's a great big padlock right there so we can't choose any of the other continents apart from Africa and Asia and presumably I would say that yeah sort of smartphone usage down in Antarctica is quite low I would say the demand is going to be quite limited in Antarctica so that continent doesn't appear but we have got Africa and Asia to choose from now what I'm thinking is I'm thinking, just looking at the map here and you know, knowing what we know about these two continents. I mean, Africa is big. Africa is very, very big. And there are a lot of people in Africa, but I think there are more people in Asia. So maybe we go for Asia just because the market is significantly bigger. And then over here, I think we can look at the different phone types. So the phone market in Africa is a little bit more straightforward. So there's a 33.90% need for elderly phones. I assume that means phones to be used by elderly people, not actually sort of you know, really old phones. And then you've got rugged phones, 25%, beautiful phones, 11%, and then camera, media, gaming phones, business phones, and a tiny, tiny amount of flagship phones are required. And then in Asia, it's a little bit more sort of evenly spread. There's a bit more demand for some things and a bit less demand for everything else, particularly with the elderly phones and the rugged phones. So it's a bit more sort of, a bit more broad in its appeal there. Employee salary is a little bit higher, I think. Uh, development speed is a little bit lower and the market size is a bit bigger. Do you know what? Yeah, I think we'll go for Asia because, you know, there are many, many people there that will soon want to buy a wonderful shiny new smartphone from us. Okay, next up we have to choose our map, but because we're playing the demo, the city map is locked away from us right now, which means we have to pick the small town map. But do you know what? That's okay. I don't mind that. We can set up in a small town and very soon it shall be completely awash with our wonderful shiny new smartphone. So, yep, we shall go to a small town. Thank you very much. And now we get to customize our company a little bit give it a name give it a logo give it a sort of what is that like a little sort of corporate bonus type thing yeah like a little sort of fun bonusy sort of widgety thing so yeah we'll sort that out as well and absolutely we shall leave the beginners tutorial on thank you very much right there we go we're going to call our company cupboard tech i quite like that because although we are a technology company as represented by the tech part of the name we're also a little bit cupboardy of course so that's where the cupboard bit comes in just you know remembering our roots and such like so we're going to go for cupboard tech i quite like that in terms of the company logo it turns out that you can import your own so of course we have done just that there there is the proper geek cupboard logo and our little kind of bonus thing i've picked wolf culture which is quite good employee efficiency increases by 50 percent that is not too bad at all so all of our workers are going to work 50 percent harder which means we can get a lot more stuff done. Surely we're going to be selling lots more phones. We're going to be designing things quicker and researching things faster and everything else. The only thing is, I don't know why it's called wolf culture. I'm not entirely sure why they're wolves. I don't know what's going on, but okay. So we'll pick wolf culture. I mean, all of these are quite good. They've all got their own kind of bonuses and such like. High-end boutique did sound very appealing. I was going to go for that. Increased sales of phones with configurations that are high-end and above by 50%. That does sound quite exciting. And I would like to make some very fancy, very lovely high-end phones. But because I've not played the game before, I don't know how hard it is to make a high-end phone. It might be completely, utterly impossible. So we're going to go for wolf culture. 
let's just make everybody work 50% better because that's got to be helpful. That's everybody across the board just working more, which is all very handy. So there we go. We shall go for Cupboard Tech with the logo with Wolf Culture. Why it's called that, I do not know. Congratulations, Cupboard Tech is officially established. Hurrah. And now we can move around. Look at that. We're very good at this. Yeah, we can move the camera around. We can rotate. We can zoom. That's all very good. The lower right corner shows the current time. Okay, so down there. So I think it's day, month, year. So I think it's the 8th of March, 2009. So we have gone back in time a bit. The company's number of fans. Okay, I assume that's that. So a great big gigantic zero. Nobody knows we exist. Wonderful. Not even our own employees are fans of us. Great. Company funds. We have 8 million whatever currency that is. I don't know. 8 million monies. It looks like gold coins. We have 8 million gold coins. Yay, goers. That's all very exciting. And research points. Again, I think we have entirely none at all. So we really are starting from scratch in terms of our kind of company reputation and knowledge. But we do have a gigantic pile of money to work with, which is quite nice. Research points can be used to purchase upgrades in the main menu, such as more initial funding, higher sales bonuses, etc. The upper left corner over here shows the company's current development goals and rewards will be obtained for completing the goals. Okay, so if we earn, hang on, our goal is to earn 40,000 monies. So what do we get if we achieve that goal? Do we get a shiny treat for that? I'm not entirely sure. Now you can click the R&D button in the lower left corner to start developing the company's first mobile phone. Okay, that's quite exciting. I sure it means down there start development. Do we have to come out of this first? Yes, we do. Okay. Now I notice that time is ticking on and yes, it is. Yes, yeah, day, month, year. Okay, that's fine. But because time is ticking on, I think we all know what happens now. We need to ask a very, very important question. Say it along with me, everybody. Is Spacebar pause? And yes, I can happily confirm that Spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. We're going to get on just fine. Okay, now let's go down here and begin working on our first phone. Although, I feel like we should have a little look around because, as far as I understand it from looking at this, all of these other office bits are locked away. And right now, this is where we're working. This is where we're beginning our little kind of you know smartphone empire or whatever. Because look, that's all locked away. We have to unlock that and that one and that one and the big one over here. So right now we have three people in this little kind of pokey room. Who have we got? Dennis Reed is a leader and he's working on a rugged phone possibly. And then Jerry Mills is a planner working on a camera phone. And then over here we've got Gary Rasmussen, a performer. What does a performer mean? What are you doing? Are you sort of, I don't know, generating social media interest or something? Uh, you're working on an elderly phone. Okay, we might need to switch those around, but there we go. Um, I mean, yeah, these people look very familiar. I am expecting Rob the Guard to pop in in a moment. If you've been around on the channel long enough, you'll know what that means. Okay, right, so let's go down here then and begin with... They've got a dartboard. They've got a dartboard. I didn't notice that. Can we zoom out a bit? Where are we? There we go. We've got a little dartboard going on there. I mean, it's a bit dangerous to Dennis. A bit dangerous for Dennis Reed. If Dennis is sitting there, you know, tapping away, doing some exciting programming or, you know, phone stuff, and somebody's here chucking darts, and they have a bit of a bad shot, Dennis is going to end it with a dart in the back of his head. But hopefully we can avoid that. Uh, right, let's go and start work on a phone, shall we? So, develop phone. Here we go. When developing a mobile phone, the hardware, shape, colour and material of the phone can be customised at will, and the mobile phone can be rotated by dragging the mouse. The hardware you can select now is still the most basic and low-end hardware. Yep, that's fair enough. And we can unlock more new hardware by clicking on the research hardware button in the lower left-hand corner. I did see that just now. Okay, right, so that is our current smartphone design. And yeah, look, it does look a little bit sort of ye olde smartphone. It's kind of, yeah, it's a bit thicker than they are nowadays. The screen doesn't go all the way to the edge or that kind of stuff. Okay, okay, right, so there we go. So at the moment, it's got good battery life. The screen is sort of okay, but the camera's a bit rubbish. The performance isn't very good, and it's not overly lightweight. But I don't know if we can do much else with it. I don't think we can change anything, because we haven't got any other options. We've got nothing we can put in at all. <laughs> there is nothing additional. We just have to make this. Okay, right, let's make one of these then, shall we? So, um, the total cost 
is 267 you know, gold coins or whatever. It weighs 100, 197 grams, 8.4 millimeters thick. The battery life is 5.8 hours. I mean, that seems terrible now, but I suppose back in the day that was quite good. And uh, yeah, the hardware is pretty rubbish. Um, we have to make, oh, okay, hang on. We can make different types of phone. Uh, okay, we can't make gaming phones or business phones or beautiful phones. Elderly phones, rugged phones. Do you know what? Camera phone. A camera phone might be a good idea because they're, yeah, they're going to grow in popularity. They're going to be a big, exciting thing. Uh, the phone price, three, th ah, it costs 267 for us to make and we're going to sell it for 330. Okay, so we're going to make a profit of 63 monies on every single phone and they've decided to call it the Cupboard Tech One. Uh, no, we're going to call it the Geek, Geek Phone 1.0. That'll do. Uh, oh, a slogan? <gasps> Choose the right slogan according to the configuration of the phone will attract more buyers' attention. Oh, yes. Make a friend. Made for enthusiasts. Ultra display. Supper energy. It can provide you food. Hooray for supper time. I think that means super energy. I think there are some, uh, some interesting translation choices going on. But you know what? That's absolutely fine. We know what it means. Super energy. Capture your beauty. Bigger than bigger. Ultra slim far ahead. I mean, capture your beauty. If we're making a camera phone, we want to make sure that people are yet aware that it's going to capture their sort of, you know, the things they're taking pictures of. Um, yeah, I think we go for that. What's that? Oh, that was a camera phone thing. So yeah, sell it for 330, Geek Phone 1.0. Let's start development of our lovely new phone. And I mean, it's not overly exciting. It's not very exciting. Can we change? Oh, hang on. There's things down here. There's stuff down here. Can we change? How do we? Here we go. Shape. Ha ha ha, right, okay. So we can change, oh, <laughs> we can change many things about it. Okay, so we can change how high it is and the screen position can be sort of in the middle. Uh, horizontal back curvature. Oh, it's got a logo on Oh, that looks very exciting. Um, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Border roundness. Um, Oh, I see it can have slightly sort of jaggedy edges. So, you know, if you get in trouble, you can use it as a weapon, if you like, or you can make it nice and rounded. That's going to be a bit better, is it? Middle frame roundness. I like that look. Um, oh, logo size. Oh, no, can we have that massive? <laughs> Just so people know, so people are aware. And now, colours. Okay, here we go. I, I was looking for this. I'm going to look forward to this. There's the logo. The front panel. How about a lovely... Corporate blue. There we go. Lovely geek but corporate colours. Um, although, yeah, it's a bit more like sort of that, isn't it? I think. It's a shame we can't kind of drop her that. It might be slightly lighter than that, actually. A bit more like sort of that, possibly. That looks about right. Okay, so we'll have blue like that. Um, the power... Oh, the back cover can be yellow. <laughs> yes. Okay, the back cover can be sort of geek but corporate yellow. Uh, which is sort of a bit like that, I think. Yep, that's good. Uh, power button can be... Can that be hot pink? Yep, lovely. Volume buttons, they can be... Uh, they can you know, they can be hot pink as well, because they're on that side. So that's fine. And the middle frame... What's the middle frame? Oh, that bit there. That bit there. Um, what, what colour do we make that? Unless... Hang on. What if we make that... Geek Cupboard Yellow. So Geek Cupboard Corporate Yellow for that, which is fine. And then the back cover can be the blue again. Let's make the back cover sort of... Um, yeah, I want it to be... I want to pick that. I want to pick that there, but... Um, a bit like that? That'll do, won't it? What's the front one? Hang on. We can, can we copy and paste that? That'd be quite fun if we could. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Splendid. Okay, right. There we go. I quite like that. Can we move that logo around? Oh, we can. We can put it right at the top because when people are holding their phone up to take pictures, the logo will be on display and everybody will know that this is a Geek Phone 1.0 made by Cupboard Tech. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this is this is the best thing. Uh, yeah, let's start development. It's going to be 2,000... Is that 800? That's quite hard to read. 288145, I think. Okay, yeah, let's do that, please. The development of the phone has officially begun. The top right corner shows the hardware, software, and appearance scores of the phone. During the development process, employees will work hard to improve these three values, and the higher the value, the higher the quality of the phone. 
Okay, I'm with you. When click, uh, sorry, when developing a phone, the bubbles on the screen can be clicked once to double the value. The bubbles on the screen. Okay. Oh, I see. So as time ticks by, our little bubble is going to come off of these people like we see in other games where we sort of design things. Normally sort of you know, video games and stuff like that. Little bubbles pop out and we click on them and it generates stuff over here. Okay, so runtime on normally. Let's be poised to click on a bubble. Okay, so click, click. Okay, right. We are, oh, I didn't click that one in time. Okay, times two. Yeah, there we go. Click that one as well. Click that. Oh, that was a research point possibly. That was a research point thing. Okay, click that, that's good. Yeah, there we go. So I've been a bit rubbish with your one. Oh, that's like an arty thing. Okay, times one, some programming going in. So it's hardware, software, and appearance. Okay, so yeah, the green is hardware, the blue is software, and the orangey bit is appearance. Okay, that's fine, that's all good. All people are getting better at their jobs. It's really hard to click on these things. They do not stay around for very long at all. <laughs> okay, we've got three appearance points then, that's quite good. Um, hang on a minute, click, click, two appearance points, a software point. The Geek Phone 1.0 is going to be good. I think it's going to be pretty good. I missed out on the thing there. We'll get some hardware points in. Um, I think, is it done? Is it finished? On 97%. There we go. The development of Geek Phone 1.0 is finally complete. We can hold a new product launch to bring more attention to the product, or we can not hold a launch and directly let the media review it. Um, 200,000 monies to do a fun conference. Do you know what? Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that for fun. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to buy that? I don't like the weird background thing. Can we have a nice picture of something lovely? Geek Phone 1.0 captures your beauty. The press conference is over. Because the phone's tagline and the phone matches poorly, quality of the phone is rather poor. The company has added 254 new fans and the press reviews are out. So let's check them out. Okay. Um, I mean, given that the uh, it's all quite poor, I'm not expecting great things. But let's see if the reviewers are being kind. Okay, 59 from Mobile Aesthetics. Ordinary. Smartphone Review says 69. Okay. Digital Technology says 69. Okay. Okay, that's, that's sort of fine. Um, okay, hang on a minute. So the configuration doesn't match the phone type. The score is too low. The Geek Phone 1.0 does not have any of the configurations that a camera phone should have. As an ultra low end mobile phone, the average score expected to be achieved is 30, and the average score of the Geek Phone 1.0 is 19. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, right. Uh, start selling if anybody ever buys this. The mobile phone has started to be sold, and the icon in the upper right corner will show the weekly sales volume of the mobile phone. If the quality of the phone is good, which it's not, some users who buy the phone will become fans of the company, and fans will be more inclined to buy our phones. Okay. Right, so let's say, ooh. We sold 189 units, 284, 440. Let's get to 1,000. Okay, maybe that was ambitious. Oh, no, no, it's going back up. I think if we get, oh, hang on, get award. Okay, right, we sold the right amount of phones and now we get an award. We could upgrade. Oh, look at that, we can upgrade Dennis, who's already here. Okay, so ability goes up, salary doubles is that crikey they're good at making rugged phones we could get 15 research points or we could get a junior employee who is very good at working on camera phones okay okay do you know what i think let's get another person let's get randy mccarthy in you come randy mccarthy okay i want to tick time on to a sort of thousand units there we go thousand and five uh, let's go down here let's research some hardware this we can research to unlock new hardware of all types. The higher end and more costly hardware will cost more and take longer. Okay, so if we're making a camera thing, uh, rear camera, what can we do? Researched insufficient funds. We need 16 million to do that or 4 million to, and 28 days to research an INX035 camera. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, this is all quite expensive. Do you know what? Let's start with some simple stuff. Maybe a little bit more RAM, a little bit more memory so the phone can do some more stuff. That is entirely affordable. That's, if it, you know, we could just research 11 days to get a big load of memory. Let's do that. Research that, please. Okay, that'll complete in 11 days. So I assume now we can't research anything else. I don't know if that's not how, I don't know if that's how that works or not. Um, 
I mean, researching a better battery would be quite good as well. SD card. Oh, do you know what? Hang on, we want to get things for cameras, don't we? We want to get things for camera phones. I imagine it's just going to be for this, is it? And that's quality. Waterproof level, front camera, earphone jack. Do you know what? Can we do that? Ah, ah, I see. There is a Q. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, and we'll research an alphabetic keyboard as well. Okay. <laughs> We'll have one of those, um, and oh, what else could we do? What else could we do? How about a mid-lower end battery? So research that, please. Okay, so a big queue of things to research. Okie doke, right. So they're going to work on that, and there is the research queue. Uh, okay, right. So how do we fit our new employee into the office? How do we go about doing that? I'm not entirely sure. Um, employee, active employees. We've got the three, but did we not acquire a new person? Where's the new person? Do we need to go to the shop? Um, we've got all this. Get research points. 100,000. Get 10,000 fans. But, oh, plant? But what? 100,000 monies for a plant? <laughs> Good grief. Good grief, game. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to do it because it's a plan. Basic sales, 2% more. Okay, do you know what? The earlier we do that, the more it's going to have effect. So, uh, okay, right, we're going to put the world's most expensive plant into the office. Hooray. Um, how do we get a new person in? How do we fit a new person in? Because we should have another person kind of pending. The total ability of employees reaches 30. Okay, so that's our current goal. Um, okay, so we can only do this. I was thinking maybe do we have to buy a desk? Do we need to move into a slightly bigger office? Unlock office. Spend 10 grand to unlock the small office. Oh, hang on. No, no, not 10 grand. 10 million. Oh, okay. We can't do that then. Okay. Pass. Oh, there you go. The research is done. Okay. That's all fine. We're still selling the Geek Phone 1.0. I think we might as well just kind of run time on until the research is done. We are making some money. Uh, yep, yeah, that's done. Thank you. Research is done. Where is the research thing again? Um, I thought it said it was in the corner somewhere, but I can't see where it is. Uh, oh, news. SUNY <laughs> have released a new mobile phone. Okay, the Erison. Ah, there's the research stuff. There we go. Ticking down. Okay, we can put a keyboard on it now, which is good. And just tick time on a bit. I and mean, what are you guys doing now? What are you guys doing at the minute? You're just sitting about doing nothing. Um, what does that do? Fire or transfer? Rugged phones. I mean, yeah, you are good at making camera phones. Maybe we need to start. If we're making a camera phone, possibly we need to invest in decent cameras. As expensive as it is. We'll research a two megapixel uh, front camera. And we'll research a, oh, yes, a rear cam. That's really expensive. <laughs> Do you know what? Is it worth doing 27 days? Let's research that, look. We'll research that because then if we can make camera phones, that's going to be quite good because it's going to have a fancy camera on it. But yeah, the, uh, the sales of the Geek Phone 1.0 are coming down. So maybe we should develop an entirely new phone. What's that in the corner about there? What's what's this? <laughs> okay, that's great. What's that? Um, auto rotor. I don't know what that's showing us. What's that? Popular appearance. Here is the popular appearance of the phone. If the shape and material similarity between our design and this phone reaches four stars, we can get random rewards. And if we reach five stars, there is a higher probability to get rare rewards. To make the shape similar, sim similarity higher, sorry, we need to adjust the width, height, center frame, curvature, and roundness. And to make the material similarity higher, we need to adjust the color, texture, and smoothness of the back cover, front panel, and middle frame. Really? To look like that? Well, that's boring. <laughs> that's really unexciting. I don't want to make an unexciting phone. Um, okay, we're going to have a bit more memory in that. That's going to be exciting. And what else did we add? Um, we didn't add any of this other stuff to it. It's just going to have a bit more memory. Uh, that's fine, isn't it? Um, we'll do... Yeah, that is all we can do. We haven't... Oh, no, hang on. We can give it a keyboard. Uh, okay, hang on. The phone... Hang on, it's upside down. There we go. <laughs> wow, look. It's a phone with an actual keyboard. How did it work before? 
I don't know how it worked before. I'm not entirely sure because we got other, there's a touch screen as well. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, and we can have a little earphone jack on it as well. Okay, do you know what? That's probably fine. Let's call it, stop calling the cupboard tech two. It's the geek, it's the geek phone 1.1 X, X. That'll do the geek phone 1.1 X because why not? Um, and, uh, okay. I mean, I don't really want to make it look like that. That looks a bit boring, but okay. The game says make it like that. So it's got to be a bit wider, I think. Possibly not quite as high. Uh, screen position, I think, is about right. But that doesn't have a keyboard. And our one does. Do you know what? We're just going to develop that. It's going to cost 252000 Okay, do you know what? It, yeah, it's fine. Let's go for it. Although, maybe we don't make a camera phone. Let's make like a rugged phone. Let's make a rugged phone and we'll call it, um, where are we? Where, what should we call it? Let's call it made for enthusiasts. That'll do. I don't know if that makes any difference at all, but we're going to call it that. Um, yeah. Okay. Work on that, please folks. Unpause time. Click all the buttons. Oh, crikey. You have to be clicked to do that at uh, click and quick. Uh, there we go. Click. Oh, Okay, battery stuff is done. That's all very good. Just try and keep on it with these guys. Just click things as soon as we see them. It's a bit distracting that thing pops up, kind of you know, telling you about them. That's a little bit distracting. I kind of think I'm going to click on that rather than the sort of uh, points thing with jigs. But no, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Look, we're keeping on top of it. This is good. Right, there you go. You and then you and then you. Oh, research points we got just then, I think. Uh, okay, yep, the front camera thing has been done, which is good. So the next phone can have quite a good camera. So we can go back to making a camera phone, which is going to be quite nice. Uh, okay, let's just keep going. And there, and there, and one up here, possibly. One up there, yay, and some arty points. And I'm not even looking in the bottom. Ah, there we go. The Geek Phone 1.0 sold out. Um, the sales ranking is not listed. Okay, it sold so badly. <laughs> It's not even on the rankings. Um, okay, camera phone development base score, zero. Okay, right, this is fine. We're working on it. We're working on camera phones, but we have got another phone on the way now, which is fine. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, come on, let's just finish this off. It's on 90 something percent, so it's looking pretty good. Oh, crikey, they all appeared at the same time. Right, that's done. Do a conference. Da, 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 da. Everyone's going to say it's the same. It looks the same. Oh no, it's got a keyboard on it. Woo. Uh, yeah, there we go. Press conference is over. Nobody enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, very bad. Very good and very good. Okay, mobile aesthetics we don't like, but these two are great. We like them. Right, start selling that, please. And then while some money comes in, we will try and research a slightly better camera. Because then if we have a better camera, that means we can make a camera phone and people might actually like it. Okay, so that's ticking down. Um, also, if we do this, maybe, where's battery? There we go. Um, and we have got a slightly better battery. Possibly seven days. Let's get, the, um, get an SD card thing in because that makes sense. Uh, that's already done. We can't afford that. Uh, maybe oh, we've done the we've done the bigger RAM. Should we just do one gig of ROM storage? Research that as well for not very much, just because again it's an extra little bonus type thing. And then possibly, although uh, we're going to run out of money to develop to develop things if I keep doing this. Do you know what? Let's go for tempered glass on the external screen. Yes, let's do that, and then we shall leave the research. So run time on. How is the Geek Phone 1.1X selling? Right, we've done the um, the fancy cameras. So let's just get the research done. So SD card support coming in. That's all good. Some new sort of a, yeah, memory stuff on the way, is it? Have we done that? We're not quite reaching a thousand units. Right, one gig of ROM. And then we'll do the tempered glass because that's going to be quite good. Get the tempered glass sorted and boom, there we go. Right, so we are now done in terms of research. So we've got 2.1 2 million monies or coins or whatever it is. We are making a little bit of money though, which is quite nice. Um, and we need our employees to get one more skill point and we complete that goal. 
and then maybe we'll get some nice kind of shiny goodies out of it. Uh, money goes in from the sales, money comes out on wages and sort of your know, rent and such like. Okay, so we lost quite a lot of money on that one. And again, it wasn't listed. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, hello, boss. I am the furniture merchant. Hello. I've got a top notch piece of furniture here. Regular desk. Its function is increases employees efficiency by 50%. The price is a steal. Don't miss out. Uh, yeah, right, fine. We'll buy, we'll buy a desk. We'll, oh, hang on. Does that mean we could put the new person in? Oh, this could be exciting. We get a new person. Uh, rotate. We'll put it there because I don't think they need to go near the door. Um, hang on. And then employees, active employees. Did we not? I thought we got a person. Did we not pick a person? Or did the game kind of do us out of a person? Um, who's at the top of the market? Nokia and Samsung and Notorola, LJ, Sony, Whiteberry. Oh, that's, they're doing good. HCT, Appel. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cupboard Tech. Oh, we're down in, we're down in 13th. We're down in 13th. Okay, right. We haven't got that much money going on. Um, yeah, I thought we got an employee. I thought when we won our, when we completed our goal, we chose a person, but seemingly not. Seemingly they've just quit or whatever. So we didn't get anything from completing our goal. That is a little bit of a shame, isn't it? Okay. Um, right. Oh, finance. Can we get a loan? Can we take out a loan? Nothing here. How do we go and take out a loan? Because that would be quite useful. Because I'm not entirely sure that we can afford to build a new thing. What's that? Decorate? What do you mean decorate? <gasps> oh, you can check. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. You can change the floors. Yay. We go for a wooden floor. That's quite nice. Okay, come out of decorating mode. Is that all we can do? <laughs> oh, game. Game. You build up my hopes and you smash them down. Uh, okay. Okay, right. So we've got just short of two million monies. I'm not entirely convinced that we can develop a phone for, for, oh no, hang on, it's 243, ah no, yeah, it's not millions. Okay, so let's make a new phone, go back to a camera phone, because now we can put camera things in it. So processor, we've got the highest there, right, a gig of ROM storage, not bothered about the speakers. Uh, charging is fine. SD card, yeah, got SD card support, got a proper battery in it. Um, don't know what that means, that's all fine. Earphone jack is in, got the silly keyboard on it. Uh, touch screen is fine. External screen, tempered glass, and a two megapixel front camera, and an INX035 rear camera. Check out our fancy cameras, yay. Um, okay. We're going to call that the Geek Phone 2.0. It's going to be very, very expensive, very costly. And we're going to make 99 off each one. Oh, come on. Just make it 570. Make a profit of 100. Uh, go back to Capture Your Beauty because it's got fancy cameras in it now. Really good cameras. Um, and then, yeah, do we try and fiddle about with that? I think we might take the keyboard off. We might take the keyboard off, possibly, because that is not what people are after. Should we try and make it look like this and just see if we get a bonus out of it? So hang on, shape. So it's got to be, uh, screen position is, can you stop? Oh, yeah, don't rotate it, thanks. Um, oh, hang on, rotate it so it looks a bit like that. So we need the screen to be sort of like that. And then we want the borders to not be quite so round. So a bit like that. Middle frame roundness. A uh, bit like that, possibly. This is quite hard to work out. Um, and then colour-wise, we're going to have to move away from the lovely colours we have. So front panel is boring. There we go. That's not very exciting. And then the... Middle frame is like a sort of a, a minty green colour. <laughs> is it a bit like that, possibly? Yeah, it looks a bit like that. Okay, and the buttons are... The buttons might actually be sort of a hot pink colour like we already have, which is magnificent. Um, yeah, I think the buttons are sort of a hot pink, which is fine. And the back is... What's the back? Come on, spin around quicker. The back is that same kind of mint colour. 
Okay, so we go for back cover, go like that, tick. Um, yeah, that. It's not very, it's not very exciting, but okay, it will have to do. Right. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, look, we've got these kind of things going in here. Look. So does that? Hang on a minute. So does that change when we do the shape of things? Does that change? So if we make it. Oh, yeah. Look, that's gone up a bit. Hang on. So we make it wider. Do we make it wider? Oh, hang on a minute. We might be able to get. Oh, there we go. So it needs to look a bit like that. And then appearance wise, we haven't quite nailed it, but we're on what? Three and a half stars out of five. Um, I don't quite know what's wrong with it. Is it the color? Is it not quite as green as that or something? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks pretty good to me. That looks all right. We'll go for that. We'll go for that. It's a it's an odd looking thing, but OK, right. This is fine. Um, yeah. Geek phone 2.0. Capture your beauty camera phone. We are good at these now. Hooray. Um, and yeah, we've got our <laughs> our desk, but nobody there because for some reason, the employee that we did have has sort of vanished. OK, could we get a new person? Um, candidate in, please. No. OK, maybe when this goal ticks up to 30 out of 30, we can get another person in. Maybe we can do that. OK, but for now, let's do some clicking on people. There we go. Scintillating clicking. Click, <laughs> click, click. OK, that was good, though. We got some good appearance points there. We've got a good pile of those. I um, think you're going to be next. Oh, and you as well. Oh, crikey, you have to be quick. You have to be really quick. Well, that was research points. That's never a bad thing. A bit aware of clicking the bin icon on them. I don't want to like fire you guys or whatever, but yeah, it's really tricky when that thing pops up and gets in the way. I think we've completed that goal, but I'm not going to look at it right now because we're working on the phone. I can see something wiggling in the corner, but I'm just you know intent on clicking on these things. Bother, I didn't click on that one at the bottom. The hardware one didn't get clicked. Okay, hardware, that one. Then it's going to be you at the top. Boot for some arty points. That's good. That's some more hardware points. Got research points. Oh, plenty of research points coming in. Some software points as well, which is lovely. Hardware, software, aesthetics. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll do a conference thing. And OK, <laughs> it's a departure from our previous phones because the colour is you know, not as I would like it. But there we go. Oh, those people there were happy. Oh, crikey. The phone's tagline, the phone matches. Uh, it's all poor. OK, reviews. 34, very bad. 21. OK, why was that worse? Why was that worse? We've created a camera phone with the best cameras we can have right now. <laughs> Not recommended to buy. No. OK, we'll get our reward. Uh, get a transfer card, get research points, get a junior employee. Uh, I mean, we'll do that. But then who knows what's going to happen? We'll do that. Oh, uh, so maybe the previous employee we had just kind of vanished into nothingness because there wasn't anywhere for them to sit. Yeah, there was no chance the game would go, do you know what, you've got an employee. Would you like to buy them a desk? No, 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 none of that. Absolutely not. Preposterous idea. Um, OK, the Geek Phone 2.0 is, uh, <laughs> is not selling very well, it seems. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. OK, OK, this is all fine. Can we take out a loan? Nothing here. How do we take out a loan? There is... The question. I'm not entirely sure. Um, OK, yeah, we've got no market share. We've got nothing much going on. We're not very proficient in anything. And our money has come a tumbling down. Marvellous. Um, go to the shop. We could buy another plant for 124,000 monies. Um, we could spend quite a bit of money to make them more efficient. Market analysis. Get a report that analyzes the specific hardware needed for a certain phone type. Oh, yeah. Can we have that? Um, market research found that a camera phone should have a high quality rear camera. Gee, thanks. That, I'm glad we paid 124,000 magic golden coins for that piece of information. <laughs> a camera phone needs to have a good camera, you say? Well, I, I, I would never have realised. Noted. Really? We just paid a load of money for that. That was rubbish. Um, however... The Geek Phone 2.0 is selling really quite badly. It's selling very badly. We're over a hundred units sold. Oh dear. And the game would like us now to add 
7,222 fans. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to be a plausible thing that we can do. <laughs> that seems like a ludicrous amount of fans. Give we've got 2,222 now. Uh, let's run time on until the Geek Phone 2.0. It just kind of fizzles out. We're making a tiny bit of money off it because it does sell for quite a high price. So we're making a decent amount of money off each one sold. But um, yeah, we're, the money's coming back out on wages and stuff quite quickly. Um, okay, keep running it on. Come on, let's just show what actually... Is, what's that do? Adver oh, advertise. That might have been quite handy to know about a game. How about we work on one more phone? Um... I mean, yeah, that's all fine on there. It looks like that. It looks like that. So hardware-wise, we'll make it all like this. But let's not make it a camera phone, then. Let's make it a rugged phone. Do we make it a rugged? Oh, it needs ruggedized glass. Okay, elderly phone needs a loudspeaker. Uh, beautiful, we can't do. Media phone. High-quality touchscreen. Uh, we haven't got a high-quality touch screen. Yeah, camera phone, high-quality rear camera. We can't get much more than that, really. Um, or flagship phone, best configuration. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? We're going to make a flagship. We're going to make a flagship phone. And then we're going to have no money left. Let's put a keyboard on. Um, what we could do, could we... What's that going to cost? If we do that, it's going to be about 400,000 monies to develop this. What if we just do one more tiny bit of research? Unlock method, touch screen. Oh, that's way too expensive. Is there some tiny, tiny little improvement that we can get for hardly anything? Um, what if... What if... 170 grand for a super loud speaker, and then we can try and make a phone like you know, an elderly phone or whatever it called it. We've got that. We've got the best cameras. Oh, well, apart from that's 13 million. So we're not going to do that. Waterproof, not so bothered. The external screen is about as good as it can be. The touch screen, yeah, that's going to be too expensive. We can't get that done. Um, charging rate, that's expensive. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's try that then. Research the super loud speaker. <laughs> this is a bit silly. So get that done while the sales of that are ticking by. So there we go. So finish this off. Right, boop. Super loud speaker. Right, pause time. Go to here, develop a phone, and let's go for, not a flagship phone, an elderly phone. It needs a loud speaker. So let's put a super loud speaker in, okay. <laughs> this can be um, the Geek Phone 2.6, X loud. There you go. The Geek Phone 2.6 X loud. Marvellous. Uh, it's going to cost half of our remaining money to get this developed. And if it doesn't work, then it's all of... Oh, hang on. The style has changed. The style has changed a bit. Okay, so hang on. So shrink it a bit. It's got to be a little stubby thing now, is it? Okay. <laughs> um, it's about that wide. Um... Why does it have to look like this? That is bizarre. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, it doesn't, oh no, hang on, I want to take the keyboard off. So no keyboard, because it doesn't have a keyboard. Um, the screen is sort of uh, there, yeah, okay, that's fine. And then the middle frame looks like it's sort of black or dark gray or something like that, something unexciting like that. And what's the back look like? Can we just spin it around really quick, please? Spin it around quicker than that. And the back is a sort of a darkish green colour. A bit like that or something. I can't get the shape of it right, though. Is it got like a... Oh, is it something to do with thickness? Is it border roundness or something silly like that? Is it, oh, there. Okay, right. That'll do. We're going to make this weird looking thing for th almost 400,000 monies. And if it goes wrong, oh, hang on. Capture beauty isn't going to work. Um, we're going to have no slogan because I don't know if that's going to work. None of these appear to go for an elderly phone. Make a friend, ultra display, super energy, bigger than bigger. It's not ultra slim. It isn't far ahead. Let's have none. 
Uh, right, there you go. Let's give this a go. Haven't chosen a slogan yet. Uh, oh, do you know what? Let's pick one. Make a friend. There you go. <laughs> right, let's give this a go and we'll just do lots of clicking. We've now got four things to click on. So four things, but we should be okay. Uh, ah, there we go. We lost 355,000 monies on that one. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> and it wasn't listed and we didn't learn that much about making camera phones. Well, isn't that a doozy? Right. Okay. Let's try and get through this then. We're what, 20 something percent through already? Um, you would like some money to work on. Joe, yeah, go on, Pierre. Why not? Oh, oh. Oh, Pierre's, Pierre's going crazy with the aesthetics of this. Oh my word. <laughs> wow, I managed to contribute 24 points to the project. Thanks for your support. Oh, the style on that's going to be amazing. People are going to love the style of it. I mean, yeah, it might not work technically. <laughs> it's going to look good and just be really, really rubbish. Um, congrats. The company operated until 2010 and the monthly office rent went up. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, your reward is having less money. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Okay. Let's just get this done with what? About 57% of the way through. I think it said 60 something now, which is pretty good. It's going to look good, this phone. We've got a lot of kind of aesthetics things going in. 50. Yeah. It's, it's going to look an absolute treat. But yeah, it might not possibly work quite so. The hardware is all right, actually. It's the software. Software is uh, potentially lacking ever so slightly. Come on there, Dennis Reed. Come on, more software. More software, please. Okay, it's done. Do we have 200,000 monies? I've got no idea. We're going to press the button and see what happens. Right, here we go. This weird square looking phone. Oh, I didn't change the button colours. There you go. The Geekphone 2.x loud. Make a friend. Um, okay, it's all bad. Let's look at the reviews. 30. 44. Oh, 77. Okay, I don't fully understand how they're being reviewed, but okay, no, there we go. That's uh, it, it could be worse. It could be better, but it could be worse. Okay, right. Um, let's start selling this then and we'll see what happens. Um, take 22 units, 29 units. Okay, we're, I think this might, this might be it for Cupboard Tech. <laughs> I think Cupboard Tech might have possibly, um, might have possibly hit a bit of a snag in terms of finances. We've burned through 8 million of the lovely shiny gold coins. And um, yeah, we haven't got enough to develop another phone. What can we do in terms of advertising? The advertising budget is a million. Yeah, we haven't quite got that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never. This is all fine. This is all fine. Uh, the annual mobile phone awards conference is about to begin. Uh, do you know what? Let's go and see if our mobile phones have won any awards. Oh, I wonder. Let's go and find out. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2010 Annual Mobile Phone Awards Ceremony. Thank you very much. First to announce the best performing phone is... That one keeps flashing up. I don't think we're going to do it. The Oolike from QPPQ. Okay, well done. The best looking phone goes to the S520 from Jayoni. Well done. The winner for the best camera phone is Dream by HCT. The phone that gets the best value for money is the Erison W995 from Sony. And the best company of the year is, is surely Cupboard Tech. We've got a plant in our office. Is Sumsvung. <laughs> the, oh, 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 come on. Come on now. The one that gets the worst phone is... Oh, okay. It wasn't us. Oh, I thought we were an absolute shoe in for that. Oh, there you go. I hope Apple will not win this award again. <laughs> the Ufone 3GS is apparently not quite as good as they wanted it to be. Okay. And the best phone of the year is the 8520 from Whiteberry. Well done. The award ceremony is over. See you next year. Thanks. <laughs> we didn't win, but there we go. Um, I mean, I think maybe not winning an award is the least of our problems right now. I suspect possibly... Our issues might be with money. It might be with money. Again, I can't see how to take out a loan. It says loans here, but I can't see of how we go and get a loan. Uh, do we click on money? Maybe we click on money. No, click on fans, click on that. Refresh tokens, can't click on the day. We haven't got a warehouse. Um, they're just the employees. That's the market. We're still at the bottom, very much at the bottom. I mean, some of them have got 
481 million monies, uh, and we haven't got that. We haven't got that at all. Although we can poach them. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> delicious poached transition. Okay. Right, I suspect maybe we're going to run out of money when this is done because we can't afford to pay the next round of rent and wages and such. So I suspect, unless I can figure out how to do a loan very quickly, um, yes, it's all going to be over. But you know, it, it's fine. We'll we'll keep doing stuff. I'll keep clicking and you know, hoping that we might find a loan button somewhere. Okay, I've not found a loan button and I think maybe we're coming up to the end of the month. Is this going to be it? There we go. Oh. Okay, we're not finished. The company is underfunded, and if it remains underfunded within the 180-day buffer, the company goes bankrupt. Oh, okay. I think maybe we have one final shot. Okay, do you know what? Do you know what? I mean, can we do any research now? Can we do anything? Can we, can we not do anything? Insufficient funds. Okay, hang on. Can we develop a phone? Uh, I'm not entirely sure if we can develop a phone, but... Uh, oh look at the look at the target score! I didn't notice that. That's the target score of what we're supposed to be aiming for in terms of making this phone. We needed three hundred and eighty-seven hardware points, <laughs> and we got like yeah, that's the most we can get is like forty-seven or something. Oh, oh, I see. Maybe maybe this is possibly a bit of a stretch too far. But um, okay, do you know what? Let's make let's make ourselves. Uh, a rugged phone. Let's, oh, hang on. Ruggedized glass. Uh, where's, where's the glass? Where is the glass? It's, it's here, so I'm fairly sure it's here somewhere. Touchscreen, external screen, tempered glass. Well, that's like ruggedized, isn't it? That's the same sort of a thing. Um, elderly phone. Yeah, got the loudspeaker and the SD card thing. That's fine. Flagship phone, best configure. Let's just, let's just make a flagship. Let's make a flagship phone, put everything on it, throw everything at the wall and see if it sticks. We'll have the keyboard on, we'll have that, we'll have a password. It's only got 2G connection. But, you know, it is, yeah, we are back in time a bit, so that's probably not so bad. Have we got everything else? It's got an eccentric motor for the vibration features. We'll have that, we'll have that, and it's got a rubbish processor in it. But there we go. Um, yeah, let's see if we can match these things. So, colour-wise... Um, Again, I think it appears to have, like, pink. I don't quite know what we're missing in terms of the style there. Maybe it's just the back isn't quite as quite as good. I think there's that change on the fly. Yeah, look, that does change. This thing here changes as we move this around. So whereabouts is the sweet spot of this? Sort of there-ish? It's sort of there. No, that there. Like that, look. That's not too bad. Um, and then, yeah, we haven't got any keyboard stuff. Uh, volume buttons. Do we need to move them around? Do we need to change them? Does that does it does the game care about the volume buttons? Don't think it does. I don't think it's overly bothered. I'm not quite sure what we can do to get that up then. Um, okay, let's make that looks ridiculous. <laughs> let's try and move the screen up a bit if we can. There we go. Um, we're gonna call this. We're going to call this the Geek, uh, the Geek Phone uh, Pro Super. No, not the yeah, Super. I should put that. The Geek Phone Pro Super XL Megatron Plus X Plus. There we go. <laughs> That'll do. Brilliant. And um, I don't know if we can even develop this. I don't think the game's going to go. Ah, uh -uh, you haven't got any money. Uh, we're going to go for five. Six, seven to make a profit of 100 on each one and we're going to go for far ahead far ahead can be the slogan for the geek phone pro super xl megatron plus x plus <laughs> fantastic Let, let's go for it shall we let's go for this i like this um and what navigation do uh, oh oh little on-screen tappy buttons oh yeah we'll have a bit of that please that could be quite fun yeah Okay, do you know what? Let's press this button and see if the game just laughs at us and goes, no, you've got no money left. No. Okay, this is it. This is this is the final push. If this doesn't work, then it's all over, I'm afraid, everybody. So if we could, you know, sort of start doing some stuff here. Hang on. Shop. Can we buy any of these? Could we do this? I know we haven't got any money, but could we go almost a million into debt and increase our efficiency by another 50%? That's a desk. 
I thought it was going to be like a bonus type thing. Ah, bother Asians. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, not to worry. I don't think we can get anything from the shop. Right, okay. Let's click on things and really try really hard to click on everything. Because we need every little tiny bonus that we can get from this. So let's just keep clicking on things where we can. Just make sure that we get all the stuff. Because our flagship phone with the incredibly long name that I can't remember and I can't look in the corner right now because I miss on clicking things um, has got to work. It's got to generate at least a little bit of extra money for us <laughs> because otherwise I think, yes, it's going to be time to you know, run away and hide somewhere from the tax people because we haven't got any money to pay any taxes or anything else. Um, OK, but do you know what? Doing all right so far, clicking on many things. I think the hardware and software points are creeping up, which is quite nice. Some aesthetics points coming in. That was some more researchy point things. That was some hardware points, more aesthetics. Ah, the Geekphone 2.6 uh, X Loud sold out. Uh, that lost quite a lot of money. Okay, <laughs> it's not listed. And we've done a bit of progress toward making an elderly phone, which is a slightly weird way of wording it, but okie doke, a phone for the elderly. Oh, oh crikey. Um, what's this? Hang on, we haven't finished working on the Geek Phone Pro Super XL Megatron Plus X Plus, have we? <laughs> what? Hang on, what? I, oh, okay, right, we're going to start selling it then. I was still clicking on the buttons. <laughs> we've, sold, we've sold nine. Do you remember our first phone when we sold? It, it was in the thousands. And ever since then, we've added bits on and tried to make it better, and it's just all gone horribly wrong. Um, okay, right, run time on very quick. I don't think we're going to avoid bankruptcy. <laughs> 135 days. Uh, yeah, I suspect maybe it's all over. I think possibly uh, we are done here. Um, we do have 24 research points. So when it all goes wrong in, you know, whatever, 120-ish days, because we're not going to survive from this. Um, when it does go wrong, we're going to have a look at what we can get for those because they're upgraded you buying the main menu. A little bit sort of roguelike-esque almost. You can you know, get some points and then we can invest it in future games. So it's a little bit sort of roguelike, but uh, yeah, we're we'll going to see what that does as well. But yeah, I suspect possibly in about 90 days, it's all going to be over. Do you know what, whilst we're doing this, is it worth just developing another phone? Just you know, quickly developing something else? <laughs> I don't know, is it? I, I, do you know what, a flagship phone didn't work. The camera phone has to have a high quality rear camera. Elderly phone has to have a loudspeaker and an SD card. Um, and yeah, we haven't got these things. We haven't got any of this stuff. We can get nowhere near the target scores. Um, do we have to sort of bring it down a bit? Maybe we're trying to make things just all too fancy. We're just trying to make things too difficult for ourselves. Um, let's go and try and I'll try and fit the shape and stuff as well, because that clearly isn't right anymore. Um, let's see if we can just sort of fit this shape a bit. So that's about right for shape. And then, oh, a bit like that, is it? And the screen position is sort of up a bit. Uh, yeah, we'll take the keyboard off because that probably costs a bit of money. Um, and yeah, I'll just try and sort of fiddle about and make it so it could possibly be a little bit easier for us to design so it's not going to be quite so bad. And that will probably be the final throw of the dice. That'll be sort of, yeah, the basic thing that we can do. Oh, the external screen, if you take that from temper glass to basic glass, the requirements drop loads from that. Okay, is it maybe worth trying for another camera phone? With that difficulty normal. Okay, do you know what? The Geek Phone, uh, I can't what number we got to, uh, 4.4. Four two, um, picky picky pictures phone, <laughs> XL plus. There we oh hang on no plus. There we go. Picky pictures phone, uh, and we'll sell it for four seventy. So we make a profit of a hundred, and we'll have um, capture your beauty again because I quite like that. And yeah, it's a good rear camera, a good front camera, but the scores down here are way more achievable because we've taken off loads of the fancy bits over here. So yeah, hopefully, maybe we can make something which is yeah, half decent. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of colours, I think that's going to be black. But yeah, it looks like the sort of um, the outer frame bit is the middle frame. Yeah, it's the side there, isn't it? So they want that to be a sort of a grey colour. Is that right? Uh, hang on. Yeah, we can sort of use the little star to work out what they're after. So like that. 
And then the back is again that sort of greenish colour, which is a bit weird because I don't overly like it. But whatever the case, we'll try and... Oh, it worked better if it was up at the top. A bit like that, maybe. Um, I just keep sort of swiveling it around till it fits. Yeah, a bit like that. Uh, yeah, okay, do you know what that'll do? What colour are the buttons? The buttons are whatever colours we like, I think. Um, and then, yeah, the screen size. I mean, yeah, maybe are we supposed to make it so slightly different? Oh, hang on. There we go. Like that look. That meets that requirement properly. Uh, yeah, perfect. And do you know what that'll do? That'll do. I want the big logo again. I'm not quite sure how to do this of the colour matching bit, but let's give that a go. This is indeed the final roll of the phony dice, uh, but we might be able to achieve this one. So here we go. We're nearly a million in debt, but hopefully this phone here, we can actually achieve some of the goals toward it, rather than the other phone, which was possibly a little bit too technically beyond our abilities right now with four people. Okay, we lost nearly 400,000 monies on that one. <laughs> the flagship phone has not gone well, but this one is going to go well. I feel like this one is going to be good. Got some good aesthetics going on, got some good software and hardware. This is all fine. There we go. Take that. That's another, what, that's another, what, four or six points toward that, which is pretty good. These ones here are the important ones. The hardware and software are important because we don't have very many of those. So yeah, I want to make sure as soon as they come up, we get them. Aesthetically, again, it's going to look fantastic, which is brilliant. Yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm quite happy that the phones look good. It'd be just nice if they actually you know, functioned a bit better. But there we go. Right, so put that there, put that there. Final bit coming in. Take that like that. Click that, click that. And are we done? There we go. Okay, it just sort of finishes now. Bad. <laughs> okay, I'm very good. Uh, okay. Uh, the score of it is, uh, oh, hang on, it's similar to other mobile phones on the same level. Okay, this might work. This one might be okay. And look, 46, 96. Okay, so possibly we were too ambitious with our other phones and we tried to make it too exciting. But okay, Joe, you know what? We're making some money. We're not making enough money, but we're making some money. Can we sell over a thousand Geekphone 4.42 Picky Pictures Phone XL Plus? Can we go over a thousand of those? Looking at the rate it's going, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> and we've got 22 days now until we go bankrupt. I suspect possibly this is going to be it. Okay, do you know what? We'll just count down to a bankruptcy. Although, although there is a bit of a race on, can we sell over a thousand units before we go bankrupt? Can we at least end on a little bit of an achievement there? Come on, come on, 962, 971. 989, 1,000, yay, we had three days left. Okay, right, we, we've tried our best and it's not overly word. The company went bankrupt because it could not pay employee salaries and office rent, but don't be discouraged. During this entrepreneurial process, the company accumulated a lot of research points, which can be purchased and upgraded at the main menu. Make the company stronger and we can select three from the current employees as the initial employees for the next starter. So it is a bit sort of roguelike-esque. So, um, yeah, okay, so choose next startup employee. So we sold, we sold 5,331 phones in total, but we never made any money off it, okay. And the top selling one was the Geek Phone 1.0. The most basic, simple thing we could do <laughs> sold the most and everything else that we tried with all the new hardware just didn't work at all. Okay, so we can pick a person. Um, I mean, Pierre? Pierre, you're quite good. You're, uh, yeah, yeah, look, we've got some, I assume that's level. I assume that's their kind of role. That's their level. That's their wage. Um, do you know what? I don't know what that does. Performer, rugged leader, planner, leader. You, we'll pick Pierre. Look, we'll choose Pierre. Oh, we can pick three. Um, okay, we'll pick the one with the higher levels. We'll pick those three because yeah, that makes perfect sense. Pick the ones that are the better people. Okay, so now do we press that? and then go back to the menu. And now we can buy upgrades with our research points. Okay, so what can we do? So we've got, um, what do we have, 20 something of them? Oh, I see, I see. So if we spend 20 of our research points, we can get another million dollars when we start. Oh, that's, oh, whatever it is, a million monies. Or we could begin with 2000 fans, or we could, 
have ourselves, what's that? Sales increase 100%. We could have a 110% sales increase. Oh, or we could just get a little bit more luck. Whatever that is, I don't know. I don't know how that factors into the game, but okay. I mean, maybe a bit more money would not be such a bad thing. And then we're down to eight points. Okay, so we can't actually get these, but you know, an extra million monies to begin with would make quite a lot of sense. But there we go. There we go. It was not to be for cupboard tech this time around. I think, yeah, we got a little bit too ambitious. Yeah, we got sort of too giddy and excited with all of the new exciting things we could put in our phones and it just didn't work properly. So, do you know what? Yeah, we're going to make a phone with all these fancy bits in. And um, yeah, possibly we were a little bit too ahead of our time, I would say. We we're trying to do too much stuff too soon and we should have just, you know, built up a fairly stable stock supply of you know, regular, ordinary phones that aren't too different to the previous phones, <laughs> Apple, and um, and then, yeah, just gone from there and try to build up our money, get enough money to get the next kind of office, get some more people. And of course, the more people we have, the more little kind of bubble things will pop up. So our phones are going to be better and so on and so forth. But, uh, but there we go. There we go. That was quite fun. And yeah, it does have the little sort of uh, roguelike-y feel to it where you carry your staff forward and you can get your upgrades as well with your research points. So yeah, it does sort of benefit from replays too. It's not just kind of like one-off sort of thing. You can play again with a little bit of a bonus and things that you learned from the last time. So there we go. That was Mad Smartphone Tycoon. Again, I don't know what was mad about it. I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. Maybe the review process? The review process seemed a little bit mad because they were all over the place. But uh, whatever the case, there we go. It wasn't to be for Cupboard Tech this time around. But I quite like games like this. Just to potter about it and have a little bit of fun. You know, it's only the demo. It's only the demo. And they can you know, add bits on and iron bits out and you know, improve the quality of the experience and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That was quite fun. It's very similar to um, other games we have seen where you develop stuff. I think, yeah, mostly it's sort of... Um, what, what was the game called? Is it sort of... It might even be like Mad Game Tycoon or something. I can't remember. There's a game where you, you, know, you make games and you sort of say, I want it to be like this and concentrate on the graphics and the sound or whatever. And little bubbles pop up and the people work on different aspects of the game. It's a little bit like that. It's a bit like one of those games, but yeah, there's a little bit more going on, I suppose. And you get to design your smartphone and what it looks like and such, which is all very good. But uh, but there we go. I think we have had a pretty good look at the game. So we shall wrap things up for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. You know, I'm brilliant at doctoring. I'm very good at all that kind of stuff. But we have got a flashy lights Nino machine, which is all very exciting. It's Kite Club. That's what it is. It's Kite Club. It's the craze that's sweeping the hospital. Everyone loves a kite now. Stay with us, Mr. Anderson. We all know what comes next. Say it along with me. We have to go over to the Wheel of Names. <laughs>